Hello everyone, welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. I actually started doing this the other night, and I ended up being so sleepy that I didn't get far at all. So I'm just going to restart from the very beginning, because I, I don't remember what I did. So we're going to restart this, but just so you know, the chapter is entitled Chapter... Okay, it, 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 the episode is entitled Episode 2, Situation Comedy. And now I'm back here. Okay. I'm going to restart it. Yes, I, I didn't get far at all. I got it! Ah, I got it! <laughs> Hello. Yes? Yes? Sweet mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You will never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away. We're at our earliest convenience. Great! I've been itching to bust some skulls since they cancelled my so-called life. Okay. Uh, move, dude. Come on. My toes are all a Twitter that we've gotten another case so close on the heels of the last one. Don't say a Twitter, Sam. Well, well, Myra Stump holding her audience hostage. You watch that particular bit of daytime fluff occasionally, don't you, Max? Whenever our TV's out of hock, for some reason, I can't get enough of her sharp-toothed maternal ranting. Okay. Why do you suppose Myra's got her audience captive? Who knows? Last month, Charles Groton put his hand on her desk, and she hit it with a ruler. She's very strict. You're a lovable but essentially useless lump of fur and icky <laughs> stuffing materials, Max. On the contrary, I can be a vital source of alternative insight into the problems that plague you. Well, there's that. Okay. Let's get going. You lead and I'll follow haphazardly, shall I? Whee! I forgot that happens. <laughs> Let's just see if the rat's around. Anybody home? Guess not. Anything, any cheese in here? Nope. I forgot the window. Hello? Jerk! <laughs> Water cooler? Mr. Spatula's looking good today. Isn't he plastic? <laughs> okay. Where's the light switch? Turn the light off. I want to waste electricity. Do you really have to walk over there? I wouldn't have done it. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me. Which is why I haven't tried it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hmm. 
we'll see. Okay, so does he say anything about this? One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> can you run? I don't remember if you can run. No, not yet. I don't want to. I don't want to do that yet. I thought you could run. Oh, there. Okay, there we go. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. I want to know about that incident. Do you like taking in some pro wrestling? I think I've seen that one. Spin the Bottle Championship is coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. Wow, I'd like to see that. We should go to Switzerland sometime, Max. Nah, they always jip you on the cheese. It's like half air. <laughs> hey, it's the Indie Angst Film Festival. What do they do? Show that second movie over and over again? Whee! <laughs> Alien Love Triangle. Can I play with that? No, it drives people crazy. Who? Me! <laughs> Not really like a laugh out loud Hold all my calls, stuff. please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. I get a chuckle out of a lot of the things they say, but it's nothing like really like hilarious. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Wow. Anybody in the closet? Nah. A lot of this is probably just the same as it's last episode. Late. Hey Sam, if it's always getting later yeah. and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Never mind, we're just gonna go talk right to her. Mimograph? I don't remember that. The this first appears one. to be some sort of reproductive device. It's a mimeograph. Mimeo. I use it to print my tabloid. Mimograph? I'm, okay, yeah, that's me. That's me being stupid. Sam! Max! How nice to see you! I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? Huh? It's my <laughs> new career! I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's it called? The Alien Love Triangle Times. So you're a publisher now? What happened to psychotherapy? I've always had a fascination with the suppressed and the sensual, and for telling people too much about both. Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times is a logical extension of all my previous careers. Except maybe Vatican spokesperson. Are you doing any psychotherapy on the side? Only on space aliens. I guess that narrows your clientele quite a bit. Mm -hmm. No, not really. Oh, maybe not. never mind. How about a quick analysis, for old time's sake? Oh, all right. Think of a number between one and four. Gotta go with three and a half. Three and a half. You're selectively audio averse. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> How about another quick analysis? Oh, all right. Think of a number between one and four. So how come one is on there but four isn't? That makes no sense. It should really just be two or three. Or, you know, like... Alright, whatever. We'll go with three. Three. You have boundless apirophobia. What's that? The usual. I don't get it. I'll have to look that up. I'll look it up right now, actually. Okay, so apirophobia is actually the fear... Of eternity or an afterlife? True. Sounds like inverse paranoia to me. What don't you mean by that? Mm-hmm. I thought so. One. You're selectively audio averse. I don't like the sound of that. Now let's move on to this one. 
There's nothing like good, hard-nosed journalism. You said it. It's time to find out the real answers to the real questions. Like what did those poor cattle do to deserve that? No. What do aliens do for romance? Do they love? How do they get their otherworldly thrills? By playing slots in Kino? That'd explain why they're always seen in Nevada. What was it you said about a photo? My new tabloid, the Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, caught getting cozy with some of the locals. Sybil, I'd like the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your latest project makes my skin decidedly crawly. Me too, and I like it. Yeah. So you're looking for a cover photo of little green men canoodling, right? Yeah, though I'm kind of desperate at this point. Basically, I can use anything as long as there are three beings in the shot and at least one of them's an alien. It is the Alien Love Triangle Times, after all. Got it. All right, so basically we gotta get a photo of three people, which I'm assuming is Sam and Max, and an alien. Okay, that's... I don't know if that's like the... No, it can't be the main mission, because we're going for some lady. Anyway. Have you learned anything interesting since you started this, uh, magazine? I learned why Elvis had such an otherworldly voice. Elvis was not an alien. Sure he was. He just wore makeup to cover his emerald green skin. Frankly, Sybil, this project is disturbing, as well as distressingly intimate. Like seeing Stephen King getting a hot butter massage. Oh, you saw last week's issue. Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Dr. Phil. <laughs> well, that goes without saying. Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Yes. That's a great answer. Okay, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. We'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. Okay, we're gonna... So that can't be the main mission. Because right now we have to go to some TV lady. Can I get the sign? It seems like a lot of this stuff actually is... Oh, that on top looks like it might be new. Look, Max. Liver and onions are still in town. Let's go okay. see them again and again! Well, let's go this way to um, the store. I forgot the name. Oh, let's go down here. Can I not highlight those posters? Can I not go down there? Oh, I can't go down there. Huh? The, uh... Bosco's Inconvenience. Has been Brady culture behind bars. He finally found a way oh to God. become famous. The police blotter. Alien Love Triangle <laughs> Times. <laughs> Looks like they're sold out. Or she didn't put anything out yet. Anyway, let's go inside. So maybe I want to go to the TV lady. Um. What ho! Samuel! Maximilian! Okay. What the? Oh, you're probably wondering how I know your names. Not really. Psst, it's me, Bosco. Yeah, maybe we'll find an alien when we do the main mission. What's with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? Bosco? <laughs> I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom, the third. Sam, what language is he speaking? I'm not sure, Max, but I think it might be English. <laughs> the way he said that is kind of funny. Yeah, I definitely didn't remember a lot of this from when I tried playing it the other night, so I was, I was very tired the other night. No, really. What made you convert to British? Everybody's got an infamy, that's why. Yeah, we heard. Well, I had to get a disguise to throw them off the trail. <laughs> They'll never find me now. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Clever clogs. What sick forces of evil are bedeviling you this time? It's the skin bodies, man. They're after me. Skin bodies? Sounds like a pack of belligerent nudists. Oh no. The skin bodies are like those horrible hairless cats, but ten times worse. Sure they're not a hundred times worse? Yeah. Maybe a hundred times. Maybe a million. 
skin bodies. Is that aliens? These skin bodies, what exactly are they doing to you? They're still in my, I mean, pinching my shaving cream. Of all the things of yours they could pinch, why the shaving cream? So they can shave their bodies, of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Not to be rude, but why isn't your fancy pants defense system stopping these skin bodies? Oh, yeah. Well, after the whole video delivery conspiracy, I figured I better build something to keep people from bringing stuff into my store. So? So, I needed to borrow some of the high-tech detecting parts from BTADS. Meaning nothing stopping people from taking stuff out of the store anymore. Dash it all! I knew I forgot something. All that means is that he's gonna start stealing stuff now. Because he can. We want to buy something. Hmm, yes, hmm. Quite so, quite so. Let's see what you got this time. What have you got? Well, there is still one can of shaving cream the Blooming Skin Bodies haven't gotten yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. <laughs> and I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. Ooh. What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? <laughs> it's the latest in Bosco Tech Innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice Ooh. modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be 30 shillings. Yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. <laughs> How much in dollars? Uh, let's see, uh, 30 shillings would be about... One million American dollars. I don't think a million that's true. Bucks. No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Oh, worth every shilling. Trust me. Trust me. So we need to get a million dollars, too. We'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid. Spiffing. Tickety-boo. Just bring it to the counter. I actually heard Tickety Boo in another TV show from the UK, so that's actually a saying. Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? Nope. Oh, this was fun. Do you have any fine leather jackets? Nope. I'm only gonna do one more. Do you have any gumballs the size of your head? Nope. Okay, we're ending it there. So nothing for us right, right now. Indeed. Hands in the air, Bosco. You're coming with us. Good heavens! What is the meaning of this? We're taking you in for masquerading as a man of class and distinction. <laughs> Who, what the devil? Surely you jest. Yes, surely we do. On the bright side, now you can add the police to your long list of paranoia-induced nightmare subjects. Tcha! Piffle! Pish posh! Okay, let's look around real Thanks, quick. Bosco. Pip pip! Honey nut cheerio! We'll get the shaving cream. I just want to look around real quick. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. Oh, uh, okay. Sludgies. This week's flavors? Bangers and mash. That's sausages and potatoes to you, Yanks. <laughs> oh, good. For a second, I thought it was something disgusting. Stay out of the loo. It's knackered. <laughs> Bathroom terror level. Red, extreme terror. Yellow, lots of terror. Green, probable terror. I think we saw all of this. I'm just gonna look around real quick and see if there's anything new. Oh, you can't really go down there. Can't really go down here either. Or oh, down here. A lot of this is just gonna be nonsense. Special. Buy one, get one. Oh yeah, remember that from what the last deal. chapter, the last episode. All right, shaving cream. I meant I to talk to Matt. I could use man. a shave. It's okay, I'll, talk. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Mm. Paws up, pig. What? Dog, pig dog. The skin bodies rule the streets. 
So the rats are skin bodies. Bugger, blimey, bollocks. The little blighted did it again. After him. I mean, tally ho. Oh, uh, my battery on my computer. One tally ho. Second. One second. Okay, so we have to ch chase the rats now. Ooh, lottery tickets. One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Okay. I meant to talk to Max, too, but I guess it doesn't matter now. Oh, was that them? I guess we chased after them in the car, right? Oh, they're there. They're like right along. Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped! Hey! After those rats! Alrighty. There they are! Let's get them! How do those laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch us! The skin buddies can't be stopped! The skin buddies don't give in to nobody! <laughs> Take the wheel, little buddy. I thought you'd never ask. Missed them. <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped! I'm trying, Oops. but they have good reflexes. Missed them. Oh, I thought I could <laughs> knock them the into the, the sign. Oh, I fucked it up. Okay. You can't dodge my shots forever. Watch it! The skin buddies can't be stopped. Missed them. <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. Oh, I thought it would work. Shoot him, Sam! I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. I'm pretty sure I have to knock him into that sign. I just gotta get the right timing of it. There we go. That Hey, the shaving cream. Okay. Oh, we got shaving cream. Inside, little buddy. Now we should be able to do something. I don't know what. Well, we bought the shaving cream. What do we need it for? I guess we just have it for something. Oh, we still have the uh yeah, okay. I'm that I remember when I tried playing it the other night. Let's just go to Myra. I made it. Where are we going, Sam? Myra's. The TV studio. Um, Goody! I made it to Myra's, and that's when I had to cut it short because I was just so sleepy. I guess just kept yawning.
Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. <laughs> W-A-R-P. Television's so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. <laughs> Anything to look around at? It's got a falling star on it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder how you'll crash and burn. Uh, yeah. Nice. The Barrel Haven. From whence comes this storybook set? Clearly from a work of unparalleled artistic vision and emotional expressiveness. No mm -hmm. wonder I haven't seen it. I'm not going to look at hey, everything I don't even think. the scaffold is just a prop. Yeah, from that show about the TV crew that solves crimes around the station using advanced forensics and overly dramatic reenactments? Come on, who ever heard of a crime at a TV station? Okay, whatever that thing is on the ground, I won't write. I want to see if I can look at the TV, though. I'm not going to look at everything. The cannon. We got to look at the cannon. Got to look at the cannon. Look at the cannon. I hope that's just a prop. I hope it isn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, chuckle here and there. That's the kind of humor this game has. Nothing really like earth shattering humor or nothing. Let's just talk to her. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand, I am the director. The director! Could a fool? Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next! <laughs> Who's next? Oh, she's so mean looking. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? You and Myra, why the hate? Look, Myra runs her show her way, and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less. If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. <laughs> wow. Oh, <burn>. <laughs> Quiet, knucklehead. What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've That's seen it. That's horrible. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me! Wow. And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Okay, Sam, ready? 
I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies, understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now, show me, rabbit! Um... <laughs> oh, wow. No, dig deep. You should be just frothing mad. Hmm. Am I supposed to choose something and then it... Cut! What are you doing? I don't Sorry, know. Sorry, I'm not hiring a dog who can't even do a simple rabidity scene. I don't know what went wrong. I was feeling so rabid. I don't get that. You look that. pretty disease-ridden to me. Come back after you've taken a few thousand acting lessons. Oh, I think I know. The shaving cream. Okay, so talk to again? her first. Yes. Can we take another crack at that audition? Fine. Let's take it from the top. Ready, Sam? Show me rabbit. Took me a minute. I, I think okay. Cause then I remembered the shaving key that that foaming at the mouth. Now that's what I call diseased. Thank you, thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who- Zip it. <laughs> okay, Max, you just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Oh no, really? he'll really shoot him. You're sad, you're despondent, you're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a natural Botox reserve. <laughs> grief, I said. Give me grief. Uh. So. Wait, 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 wait. Now, there we go. the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, he'll really <gasps> shoot him. <laughs> he really shot him. Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my hat. Or I'd have one too many holes in the head. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. <laughs> the search yeah. for the Midtown Cowboys is over! You're hired. Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam! We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left! There's stars now. Midnight Cowboys. Midtown Cowboys. Midtown Cowboys. Where's he walking to? I don't care. All right, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Myra. Stupid, no talent, fat face. She does not like Myra. Interesting. Okay. Weren't you just... I think she just defied the laws of physics. She's Sorry, an alien. You'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. <laughs> I knew you guys were right for this show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. 
Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained, globe theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to say the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. Okay. Yeah, let's just get into it. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember, <coughs> your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! <laughs> One second. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I had to blow my nose, because I sneezed. Hiding a cow. Let there be light. Okay. What do I do with the cow? Hey, bossy. Hey. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. All right. I know you've got. A Oh, for pity's sake! This will never work if you're not even going to try to disguise the cow! What? Cut! Amateurs! Oh, you're a jerk. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was! Okay, so I... I'm just looking around, what can, the types of things I can... Okay, let's look, let's see about this. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Don't blame you. Books, television, TV, camera. Cow's tail cactus. Alright, let's just talk to the director and figure out... Oh, no. There's I a lot to learn with this TV. Can we take five? The Screen Actors Guild will break. Okay, I screwed that up. Let's start taping. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? So... Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! Hey, you said something about disguising the cow, so... We have to disguise the cow. Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! Cactus window. Well, the lampshade. Didn't we take the lampshade off? Let there be light. Hey! Do I have the lampshade? I do. So. Open up! There we go. Life of the party. He comes in on his own. Aha! I know you've got a... a. Well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? Our chef, Abraham Lincoln, the Prince of Upper Thimbosis, okay. A cow wearing a lampshade. That would be funny. I don't think we're supposed to say that. This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a l'orange. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a Does French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know. It was back in my army day. Okay. Was that it? I guess saying your line. Try saying your line now. Oh, uh, better get the serious toothpaste. No, no, cut! You've got Jesus. to work the line in when there's a reason! <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Uh, 
I shouldn't fool with the set while we're not taping the show. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I thought I was picking the director, but it was a TV camera. He goes, hi, Mom. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? See if you can squeeze in some gross-out humor this time. Ready? Action! Gross-out humor. Like the cow pie? Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! Let you, there be light. Did you know it? Okay. Hey! There we go. Life of the party. Do I have to listen to all this again? Aha! I know you've got a... a well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a l'orange. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know. It was back in my army days. Yep. Gross out humor. The only thing I think I saw that was gross was the cow shit. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Or are there gloves around? No. Wait, no. Ew. 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 Right, let's see if this is it. Goodness, who left this lying here? I, this type of thing really grosses me out in real life. Uh, I, 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 I might... Uh, Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Oh my god. That, oh god, that's so fucking gross. Say, what's this? No. Ew. Ah. I I'm sorry, what was that you said? I guess that's one Moo Goo Guy Pan. He said Moo Goo Guy Pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Whoa! Super! I'll try some of that! Where's the plate? No, ew, 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 ew. I can't help but I'm feel gonna... this is all terribly no. wrong somehow. Aha! No oh, way. Uh, interesting! That's one word for it. Hmm. There's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. Uh, what's it called in English? Cow pie. Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like. Yeah. Ew. Toothpaste. Zoom in and cut. Ew. Ew. That was comic gold. The network is going to love it. Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Ew. So, what am I supposed to do now, though? Hello again. Hi. What am I supposed to do? Do I just leave? 
which door do I go through? I think I think I came through that door. Do I go that door or that door? Never. Who's who's never going to something? I don't know. Look, Max, there's the door to Myra's set. No, who, Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Seth, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who Bliss? No, Hugh Bliss. <laughs> Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. The stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Okay. Yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Because I do. So, Hugh Bliss. What brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, don't you see? I can read your mind. As the resident doubting Thomas of this crime fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. <laughs> okay, think of something, anything. Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan. Pennies on the eyes of a dead lime. Big number. <laughs> I just <laughs> enough of this ridiculous farce. Big number. Let's go with big number. Six million three hundred and seventy-three thousand four hundred and eleven point nine eight. Six million three hundred and seventy-three thousand four hundred eleven point nine eight. Sam, lucky guess. Yeah. Was it? Think of something else. I'm suspicious. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Still suspicious. Well, I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan. Was he right? Big deal. Everyone thinks that. Agreed. Oh? Think of something else. <laughs> Enough of this ridiculous farce! Stop it! <laughs> do me! Do me! Oh, oh my! And that's unspeakably depraved! <laughs> yeah, you got it! Wow, you're amazing! Say, Hugh Bliss, can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook yeah. of instantly forgettable memories? I think he's Splendid idea! I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say, chocolate covered puppies. Chocolate, chocolate covered, covered puppies. puppies. So where's the picture, He's magic barefoot. man? Oh my. I seem to have misplaced it. <gasps> Hmm, check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre! No, mauve! Burnt sienna! Uh, how about a color I've heard of, hmm? <laughs> Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. Red, green, or blue. Let's go with the red. Red, Fred. Ooh, I know what you're thinking. Is it real, or is it illusion? That's cool. The text changed color, too. Let's just go. Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? <laughs> yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. 
Okay. I still love you. <sighs> are are we the um oh wait oh TV camera by mistake. Is this thing on? Am I the uh contestant? So how does this game show work? Did you just ask me how a game show works? Uh. A contestant comes to the podium, the host reads them a question, they get it wrong, and they leave. Just one question? More time for commercials that way. Look over there. It's Myra. <gasps> Where? It's written right above the door. I don't have time for this. <laughs> okay. See you later. That's a wrap. Which podium? I'm gonna this podium. We've got a contestant, people! Hit it! Oh, geez. From somewhere deep within the bowels of WARP, it's Who's Never Going to Be a Millionaire? With special guest host, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Our first contestants are a pair of professional freelance police officers. They enjoy firing their guns randomly and running over things. Please welcome Sam and Max. Hey. Listen, Sam, they love us. Welcome. You know the rules. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away a millionaire. Start loading the armored cars, Hugh, because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless trivia to power a small Chilean village for decades. It's true. OK, are you ready? Oh, happy day. It's an easy one. If a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? Huh. No idea, no clue, no chance, no hope. Oh, I'm gonna go with my gut and say, Hugh Bliss. I'm flattered, but no, that is completely wrong. You lose! This is an outrage. I demand a recount. Oh, no. We do have a fabulous consolation prize. A copy of Emetics by me, Hugh Bliss. What's Emetics? No, thanks. I'm content to leave with just my burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. Okay! Find out which poor schmuck will be the next to blow his <laughs> chance at millions right after these messages. Am I supposed to do it again? See you later. That's a wrap. I'm gonna do it one more time because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get it right. We've got another contestant! Hit it! Welcome back! Our next contestants are these guys again! What is the mass of a solid dodecahedron composed of unrefined nickel three decameters to the side rounded to the nearest milligram? No clue. I'd have to guess Patty Duke's evil twin cousin. Oh, so close! But no, you lose! How many grains of sand are there on all the beaches in the world, discounting those currently used in sandcastles? No hope. I'm not sure, but I'll say false. Oh, Jesus. That's not really a valid answer. You lose! What is the meaning of life? Interesting. No idea. I'd have to say chimichanga. Judges? Oh, I'm sorry. No. You lose. Emetics. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Hmm. Already got a copy. I read it every morning on the can. <laughs> multicolored happiness indeed. It's polite to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself! Yourself.
Can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean... Uh, may we come in and see the show? That's much better. No, we're at full capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. How about letting your hostages go now? What do you say? Hostages? They're my guests. You know, if there's one that fries my burger, it's the rampant victim culture in American media today. Oh, boo-hoo! Myra's audience all got luxury minivans. Now they have to worry about where they're going to park. Bah! I know what you mean, Myra. It's like I'm always telling people, don't think of it as a bullet wound. Think of it as a transfusion opportunity. Wow. <laughs> Can't... May we appear as guests on your show? I excel at talking about myself. Are you famous? Perhaps. In an internet petition or there ought to be a law kind of way. Not good enough. I'll need evidence of your explosive star power. I blew up a public restroom last week. I want to see a copy of your recording contract for one thing. Well, what if we... Recording contract and a clip from your hit TV show. You're not anybody these days if you don't act and sing. Recording contract, TV clip. Piece of cake. No cake. I'm on a diet. But I will naturally need evidence of the latest juicy scandal you've been involved in. We have to be scandalized? Of course! What kind of show do you think this is? Are you sure you want us to answer that? Look, it's very simple. Show me a recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a scandal, and I'll squeeze you in. Oh, is that all? That's a lot. <laughs> As it happens, we brought a clip of our wacky hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. We're the stars. Well, I'm certainly impressed with how far standards for entertainment have fallen in this country. Jeez. Um, thanks? But you're also going to need a recording contract and a nice juicy scandal to be a guest on my show. I'm gonna go get my autograph book. We'll be right back. It's too nice to stay indoors. You boys should go play outside. And you should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? <laughs> so, was that a clue to go outside? See you later. That's a wrap. There was another door. So I'm gonna try the other door, because I, I haven't figured out this millionaire thing yet. Maybe, um, maybe I was supposed to do this last. Okay, so the two things I need now are the recording contract and a scandal. Proof of a scandal. Cooking. What's the story with this show? Cooking Without Looking? It's a cooking show aimed at motorhead bachelors who have never seen the inside of a grocery store. Is there a big demand for that? You'd be amazed. Where's the host? Is he in watching the Myra show? No, he's one of the few who isn't. He got food poisoning while he was taping last week's show. Right in the middle, in fact. Was it gruesome? Yes, and unfortunately, this show goes out live. How do you do that teleportation trick where you're always everywhere ahead of us? Trade secret, honey. How do you keep it so clean in here? The complete absence of anything resembling food is helpful. <laughs> Aren't there fruits or vegetables of any sort around here? We strive for realism, and the average bachelor kitchen doesn't contain any natural plant life except mold. Can we get a tape of the show? This one? No. It's broadcast live. We don't tape it. See ya. Probably. Am I hosting this show now? Does this place remind you of anything? No. Wait! Yes! This is the kitchen set from Hopalong Placidly! They probably got a good deal on it after the Pancakes for Play scandal. <laughs> I missed that show and its masterful constant use of miscommunication as a comic device. Do you smell something burning? Sorry. Oh. Oh, wow. What do we do now? Make food? Brilliant. Let's accomplish things now. Oh, all right. If we must. This fridge isn't even a fridge. It's a fake. It's like a scene from Heidi. 
How does that bird manage to stay still for so long? Welcome to Cooking Without Looking, oh, the no. cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. <laughs> Just go with it. Oh, um, hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh. Greetings, worshipful fans! Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? A casserole, a cake, chilled summer foie gras... That thing. A bunch of gunk in a dish. <laughs> we'll just get some ingredients from the ingredient rack and add it to what we professionals call the yummying hod. Isn't that a pot? Max, we both know a pot is what you and I fight over when we play poker. This is the yummying hod. Okay, red dye number two, monk paste, lard, asbestos sprinkles, dried bingo kidneys, uranium pellets, tweed. Okay, pink mink oil, roofing tile shards, MSG, hair gel, Sulfuric acid, buffalo chips, wombat secretions, and squid tentacles. Okay. Let's go with tweed. Of course, it wouldn't be real bachelor cooking without tweed. Bachelors, here's a tip. Tweed isn't just for cooking. It also makes a great toupee. Mm -hmm. Let's go with asbestos sprinkles. Of course, who could forget the asbestos sprinkles? This stuff isn't just for school lunches. Real kitchens use it too. Wombat secretions. A pinch or two of wombat secretions. Make sure they're lightly damp to the touch. The wombats, not the secretions. Wait, is there anything else? Oh, cook it now? Now do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show time, Ta-da! You've successfully perverted the laws of God and man. Oh boy, let's take it with us! Cooking is kind of fun, isn't it? I like the part where they let us keep what we cook. Let's make nitroglycerin! Maybe next time. Mm. Hey, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with this Whee! thing. Oh wow. Um, casserole a la Salmon Max. So... Photo with you, Bliss. Is that doesn't count as anything? Anyway, maybe that's the alien. But anyway, let's try to. I don't know what we're gonna do with this meal. Maybe we can give it to somebody. Oh, Hugh Bliss, we've got something for you. No, 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 no gifts. All I need is love, sweet love. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Yes. Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? You've got the length of one commercial break to explain yourselves. Your eyes look a little spirally. Are you feeling all right? Uh-oh. Of course I am, sweetheart. By the way, when was the last time you brushed your teeth? And you should really be flossing. You certainly sound like your normal self. But why are you keeping everybody in there? I'm just doing what I always do. Slave and toil to put on the best show possible. It's just, after opening presents from well wishes, I felt so compelled to make this show extra special. We'll be so, right back. I haven't done Take any, your time. I can't offer her the cake. Photo with you, babe. Wait, I can give that to her, right? Nah. I can't. What about the cake? Casserole thing. 
Nope. Let's examine it. I can't even remember what I put in this stuff. Alrighty. It's a picture of us with you, Bliss. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. Is there anything back out here where we auditioned? I just don't see how you can sing and what? be a judge. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the Soda Poppers? Sweet yep. jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. <laughs> what are the odds? Did we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm. Jerk. I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Goody! I get to sing! Oh, no. Welcome back terrible. to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <clears throat> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly liked how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Bias. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Acid pit. What's with the pool of water? It's acid, Brain Freeze. Don't you ever watch the show? Wow. I want to sing, maybe. Fascinating. Hey, can I try my pipes out on this thing? Go right ahead. Frankly, we can use all the contestants we can muster. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Oh. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call. Busted down hound dog blues. Love has a thorny backside. Bottleneck on the freeway of doom. Just like someone else's song, only somehow better. <laughs> I don't know. I'm torn between the top one and the bottom one. Just like someone else's song, only somehow better. <coughs> I am in terrible torment. I am unbelievably happy. I am cryptic and therefore deep. I am more successful than. This one probably goes into theme with the title. Chomping on a crunchy silver spoon. <laughs> <laughs> My girl is the greatest thing since sliced bread. My girl is cheating on me. I'm solved life's greatest mystery, but I'm not telling. I'm cooler and hipper than you will ever be. Playing cocktail angst on my bassoon. Pity me, admire me, let me remind you that I write songs. I'll say anything just to make it rhyme. And so I wrote this extremely catchy tune. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. <laughs> your stylings are quite interesting, but I noticed you never really hit a high note. Peeper's is still getting my vote. You sing beautifully, and your lyrics are enchanting. But Peeper's is my brother, so I pretty much have to vote for him. Bye, oh. yes. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. And we're cut. It's okay to sing again if you want to, by the way. Could improve your chances. Can I do this 
way? Okay. Peeper's lyrics. Can I look at these? Sure, take them! I've got them memorized! Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very impressive. Well, well, Peepers, you underdeveloped former non-psychotherapist you. What a treat to run across you again. I'm not sure if I ever properly thanked you for hitting me over the head recently. Repeatedly. <laughs> no gratitude necessary. Just doing our jobs. Sure. How do you manage to hit those eardrum scarring high notes? If you're implying that I use any artificial vocal enhancements, I don't! What you hear is pure peepers! That's almost exactly what I would have said! Your lyrics have an intriguingly vapid quality. Did you write them yourself? Of course! Any similarity to lyrics from other wildly popular songs is meant as homage, not theft! I'm dying to know, is there any truth to the rumors about lip-syncing on the old Soda Poppers TV show? We only did that on the released version. Really, is there any trick to hitting the high notes like you do? Look, I told you, I don't use any artificial vocal enhancement and I resent the implication. I have a gift, that's all. I'll leave you to whatever it is you're doing over here. Good luck. Okay. Is that your mug? No, it was here when I got here, last week. Ew. Yeah, <laughs> that was me before. So wait, so I have his lyrics now? Am I blue? Judge looks good on you, Max. Thanks. I hope it comes with lunch. Don't let your passion for overzealous criticism get in the way of our primary goal here, little pal. I already forgot what that is. <laughs> Myra Stump, holding the audience hostage? Oh, right. Sometimes my sponge is a little leaky. A fact I know all too well. Any advice about your fellow judges? Well, word around the local judging circles is that Spex is a sucker for a really high note. But Wizard? I don't know. I don't think you're gonna be able to get him to change his vote. Well, perhaps I can deal with him some other way. I think I'll poke around and look for clues, or craft services crawlers, or both. If you poke up some crawlers, I want six. So somehow I have to convince Wizard to not be so biased with his brother. Last time we saw you, you and your diminutive former child star brothers were in the thrall of a megalomaniac hypnotist with bad hair. What have you been up to since then? Well, after you hit us over the head, repeatedly, our careers have taken an upswing. Clearly. Hey, being a judge on Embarrassing Idol is a tremendous opportunity. I'm feeling the magic already. Tell me, old judge, what gruesome qualities do you look for in a singing performance? Fraternity! I'm voting for Peepers no matter what! He's my brother! The one who didn't forget my birthday today, I might add! I said I was sorry! So if it's his birthday today, can we give him a gift? Happy birthday! Thanks! I'm glad somebody remembered! I said I was sorry! What more do you want? A treat would be nice. Okay, I'll Isn't this also St. Boniface Day? Patron saint of carnivorous plants and spiky things? I think that's next week. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your judging. Catch you later. Uh-huh. So let me try this. I'll go down. How'd you like something to eat? I'm kind of saving room, thanks. And then I guess it doesn't work that way for me. Okay. So he wants a treat. Do I have anything other than that? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, 
I don't, I'm so confused. There wasn't food in here. That's the game show. That's the cooking show. There was no food in here either. There was no really. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Let me look at this. Thing. I'm assuming this is for the. Uh, what's her name? Yeah, I'm assuming this photo is for Sybil. For the aliens. Because um, she said she needed the two. You know, she needed three people. Oh, wait. She said she needed two people. No, she needed three people, one needed to be green, and I said, obviously, the two people are us, me and, and Max, and then green. A, a, per, a person's... Okay, so... He can turn green, right? Was that one of the colors? Wait. Hi, okay. Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. I challenge you to change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Any color. Oh, green was there. It's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. There we ah. go. Not my favorite shade of green. And again, the red wasn't my favorite shade of red either. Okay. How about another picture, Hugh Bliss? How about this? Instead of a new picture, we'll just recycle the old one. Save the Earth! Sure, whatever. I Gather long, around! As long as I get a picture of you with your... Okay. Okay. Bye! Bye! So... There we go, so now that's that. Do I go back to her first? And then come back? I don't know if I should do that, because I'm really stumped on what I'm supposed to do. Director. Sam, I've just deduced a vital piece of information in the case. That is where the director sits. And people wow. say you've been mailing it in. So I'm so confused. Like, I'm not confused. I don't want to, like, pick every item. Card slot. Apparently, WARP can't afford armed guards for their game show questions. That's cheating, Sam. Good thinking. Don't get your pretty long ears in a twist, little buddy. The answers aren't on here. In life, there are no answers. Only questions. Another prismatology credo? No, I read that in a cereal box. <laughs> I'm seriously deficient in riboflavin, by the way. You're seriously deficient, all right. So now I got questions. I can't see how anybody would ever be able to answer any of these questions. Okay. See, I don't know, I don't want to keep clicking on everything, but I don't know what to do, so I guess I have to click on everything. Who's never going to be a millionaire? Good old W-A-R-P, where no horse is so dead they can't beat it a few more times. Yeah, See you nothing, later. Nothing new to That's say. a wrap. Well, without the questions, does that change anything? We've got another contestant! Hit it! Oh my! The questions have vanished! Welcome back to... Stay in commercial! Stay in commercial! More commercials! We'll be right back after this. So he needs questions. Whatever. I guess I have to find different questions that I know the answers to, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I can go to Sybil. She was a psychotherapist, so maybe she'll have answers. The questions that I can answer. Sam! 
Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial-related photographic evidence. Sybil, that photo is a hoax. Exactly. I couldn't have asked for better. Now I can print the paper. Sam and Max Shocker. Oh, that's our... Available at newsstands now. Okay. Oh, newsstands. I gotta go get it at the damn newsstand. That's our, um, scandal. But that doesn't help me with, um, what's the other thing, a contract? Or did I get the contract and it was something else? We are famous. Hooray! Can we begin misbehaving now? Begin? Is there anything in here I can buy for what's his name? Birthday? You didn't want the casserole. It's Sam and Max. I saw you on the tent. How do you watch TV from in there? Oh, I've got monitors you don't even know about. What do you want, a hot weenie? <laughs> Are those uh, the same two weenies that were in there a month ago? Are you the same two weenies that were in here a month ago? Nice. I don't know. Hello, sir. What's up, old beans? We want to buy something. Quite so! Oh yeah, he had a voice modulator. Nothing for us right now. Indeed. Voice modulator, would that um change his voice? We want to buy something. Buy mm. Yes, mm. quite so, quite so. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be one million American dollars. We'll be back later once we find a way to become millionaires. So... Nothing for us right now. Indeed. I imagine that voice modulator Thanks, Bosco. gets to hit that high note Tickety talk. that uh, the one brother would like. And then I guess we have to give the one brother whose birthday it is some type of a treat. Oh, I already looked at the sludgy. Do this right? week's flavors bangers and mash. That's sausages and potatoes to you, Yanks. Oh, good. For a Yeah, okay. Do I have to make a cake then instead of a casserole? I'm so confused. Can I get him a gumball? <laughs> it looks like candy, but I'm pretty sure it's fish tank gravel again. I've had worse. Whee! Here, food related, right? No. Was there anything in the cooking show that was actual food that I could give to the birthday boy? Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Filling in for the inconveniently food poisoned Chuck Flagon, these guys. Thank you, and welcome to the show. What are we making this time, Sam? Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. Why, why isn't it moving? Oh, moving, oh, bud. Let's try something different this time, so let's try squid tentacles. A fistful of squid tentacles. Ooh, that's my favorite western! Dried dingo kid kidneys. You'll want to crush up some dried dingo kidneys. Come on, bachelors! You know you have them! Look under the sofa cushions! 
Let's see what else we can do here. Let's go with pink mink oil. A dash of pink mink oil is a must. Nothing says I last ate real food in the 80s like the inclusion of something pink. And let's cook it. We've already got that thing we made before. No, I ate it while you were looking at the ingredients. Now do we broil it, Sam? Good. Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. I'd rather have and this. through the magic of TV cooking show time, There's a cake. one gorgeous, delicious cake, ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. Cool, so now, hopefully this was the answer to, uh, what's his name? Wizard. I guess Wizard. I don't remember the other one's names. Peepers, Wizard. You don't want to have something to do with glasses, right? Specs. But yeah, it's Wizard's birthday. How about some cake? Cake? Oh boy! Perfect for my birthday! There's no tomatoes in it, right? I promise nope. you, no tomatoes. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. <laughs> wow. Excuse me. Uh, that was delicious! And a little bit scary. You eat like Max. I wonder if that was Remind enough. me again how you go about judging a singing performance? I listen very carefully to the tonal qualities of uh, the singer's voice. Now he's and changed. then I vote for my brother Peepers. Commendably impartial of you. I got you a birthday cake. Happy birthday! Thanks again! Enjoy your judging. Catch you later. Uh huh. Okay, so I still have to do something for my voice, which I bet you that voice modulator, so I need a, mer a million American dollars. Oh, so, the Millionaire Game Show. I have to win that, so I don't know how I'm gonna win that. But let's give this to Myra, this scandal thing first. I've been playing this for far too long. I am not doing good at all on my own with this. Yes? Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't be alarmed, but I'm beginning to suspect that you might be hypnotized. Don't be silly. Hypnotism is just an excuse people use today to abdicate responsibility. I hate how this country's become a bushel of Bill and Betty brainwashies. Hypnotized or not, that sounds like Myra's patented blend of lovingly cutting criticism and charismatic know it all -atry. How do I give her the thing? I'm gonna go get my autograph book. We'll be right back. It's too nice to stay indoors. You boys should go play outside. And you should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? So do I have to highlight this? Let's examine. Scandalous. Uh-uh. No? No thanks. Oh, so I do what? Do, mm, how do I get that off? Okay. Do I have to actually ask her the question again to trigger? Yes? Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? Remind me what your requirements are for guests on your show? Of course, dear. I'll need to see your recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a juicy scandal. What if we have our own video game? Video games? <laughs> Ugh, those things will ruin your eyes. They're awful. Actually, we graced the cover of the current edition of the Alien Love Triangle Times. How's that for a scandal? My, your posture is terrible. Still, if you get a recording contract, I'll have you on the show. 
I'm so elated I can almost block out the pain of such dismissive scrutiny. We'll be right back. Take your time. Okay, so... Somehow I win this millionaire game. Get a million dollars. Go back to Bosco. Get the voice modulator. Sam finally wins the three judges over. And then gets the recording contract. So how do I win this game? Oops. I wanna... Oops. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? I don't, um... That's where they keep the question cards. I wonder... Hey, a perfect fit. Okay, but... Alright. We'll try this. We've got another contestant! Hit it! Welcome back! Our next contestants are... These guys again! Okay, are you ready? Hmm... The question is... Am I blue? No, Hugh, you're not blue. Oh dear! Oh me, oh my! That's absolutely right! No way. Yes. Congratulations! No way. You're a millionaire! That worked. We're rich! Filthy rich! We just went bankrupt, so we will not be <laughs> back after these messages. I don't believe it. Well, this is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're right over there. Hold on. Can you buy deep fried licorice ropes with food stamps? We'll take it. One, two, three, <laughs> 174, 175, 999,999. And a million. Let's go spend it, Sam. <laughs> it's burning a hole in my pocket. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. Okay. So, that's good. I can't believe that worked. I cannot believe that worked at all. How do I get out of here? Oh, no, 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 no. That took so long for me to figure out. I just did that at, like, at a desperation. I didn't think that would work. I've been playing this for over two hours just because I couldn't figure out that whole that one thing about um the game show. We want to buy something. Quite so! We come bearing one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Blimey! Food stamps? Well, I suppose I must accept them. Bolded dash government conspiracy. It's hogwash! Complete card swallow! Here then is your chemical-based voice modulator. This is a helium balloon strapped to an inhaler. <laughs> but it works. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Holy chipmunk, Ari is warbling out of a souped-up 78-speed turntable. It works. <laughs> Thanks, Bosco. <laughs> I didn't expect it. I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't expect that. Like, most of the humor is just, like, minor... Like, like I said before, chuckles and stuff, not like really laughing out loud, but then sometimes they do have to like, it's a helium balloon, uh, balloon thing. Okay.
No dice. No. Testing. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call... Busted Down Hound Dog Blues. <clears throat> Howling at that trippy old hunk of moon. Mm. She's at brunch today with some baboon. Blowing like a zephyr on a dude. Hey, let's hear from our judges. I hope that works. Your moribund crooning is far less offensive than Peeper's excruciating slaughterhouse squalor. Um, thanks. You really nailed that high note. Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Okay. Hey! Uh -huh. That was amazing. But as long as I'm a judge, Peepers is getting my vote. Nuts. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. So what do I do now, though? He got his damn cake. What kind of perks go with this gig? Do you get fancy dressing rooms and candy sorted by color? Ooh, craft services food. Have them bring me a roasted Canada goose stuffed with lightly bruised olives, please. Not likely. I ordered a cake for my birthday, but they never brought it. I think the craft services crew all went in to watch the Myra show, like everybody else. All we got was a basket of tomatoes. I Ugh. gave you a cake. What kind of preposterously un-American weasel are you that you don't like tomatoes? I like them just fine, but they don't like me. What do you mean? I once spent 12 hours in the bathroom after mistakenly eating a cucumber that was sitting next to a tomato on the plate. Say no more. Can you eat those little cherry tomatoes? They're small. No! No tomatoes, tomato juice, tomato paste, nothing, or I'll be out of commission for hours. I got you a cake, though, you jerk. Let's make another one now that that happened. Thank you, and welcome to the show. Okay, so I just got back from making another cake. Um, they said something about tomatoes, and I'm wondering if I should do something with tomatoes. Um, I did look around, I couldn't find tomatoes anyplace. So I guess I'm gonna go... I don't know, I've been doing this for a while, so I'm gonna go see if I can just head back to Bosco's maybe, to see if he has... Tomatoes? I don't think he does those. I really, this is like really confusing. This one I think I figure everything out, I don't. Hello. Hello, sir. What ho, old beans? We want to buy something. Hmm, yes, hmm. Quite so, quite so. I don't, I, I think this is just the silly stuff he says. I don't think it's going to be tomatoes. Do you have any yeah. plus two plate armor of limitless squeezability? Uh, nope. Okay, then. Okay, guys, uh, this is frustrating the hell out of me. I'm Nothing sure. for us right now. Indeed. Thanks, Bosco. Hip hip, honey nut cheerio. Honey nut cheerio, that's cute. Okay, so. Oh, we got every little thing to see if there's tomatoes. He doesn't have a produce section, though, does he? Refrigerator, Children maybe? preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. That's I hope disgusting. Not. Hey, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Yeah, see, it's a lot of the same stuff. Tongues placed on the freezer become property of Bosco. 
I got quite a few tongues that way. Uh, I don't, that's not gonna help me. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Purple stuff. Buy nachos. Free toilet brush with every purchase. Free toilet brush. I'm sold. A huge toilet oh, brush. I remember that now. I'll pass. Microwave. Sushi coffee. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. <laughs> Go on. Maybe another time. I don't know. I don't know. No can do. No coffee and cake? Nah. Nope. I have no need to subject that to intense heat and radiation. Nope. A little ketchup oh, is always ketchup. good on a cake. The ketchup, okay, the ketchup, the ketchup, tomatoes, yeah. I don't, it didn't even occur to me. I was just doing that, again, like, just desperation. The ketchup and tomato, yeah, it's, to, ke, ketchup has tomatoes in it, okay. Didn't occur to me, I don't, I'm not a big ketchup eater, so I don't think about that stuff. Okay. And hopefully this is it. I don't know what's gonna happen because we still have to deal with Myra. And I've been playing a while. I don't know why I'm walking away. I need to give this to Wizard. That looks so disgusting. Forgetting the fact that it's ketchup on cake. That just looks bad. Happy birthday! Oh boy! Birthday cake! That red frosting looks tasty! Excuse me. Boy, that was really... Uh, uh, really... Uh, uh oh. Time out for number two! Wow, instead of number one, it's number what two. The, darn it! He better not be going to see Myra! Well, anyway, we can't wait. We'll just have to finish the show with only two judges. Whatever you guys agree on goes. Vote for me! I gotta sing again. This is the last time. Testing, one, two, three. No, I didn't mean to do that. Testing, one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello, I'd like to do a little song I call... Love has a thorny backside. <coughs> May the starfish justice not impugn. Thinking about the rings on the great raccoon. Road to someday, bits of me are strewn. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. You really nailed that high note! Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner! Hell yeah! Now, congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Thank you. In bottom records, it's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do! 
right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? <laughs> uh, be sure to join us next time on Embarrassing Idol. Okay, so let's go do this Myra thing, I think. I think this is it, and then we just do whatever we have to do with Myra. That should be it. I hope so. Um, because I've been recording for 2 hours and 25 minutes. So... I, I really want to end this here. I, I want to end this soon. So I hope it, like, is very quick, whatever I gotta do. Yes? Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? Remind me what your requirements are for guests on your show. Of course, dear. I'll need to see your recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a juicy scandal. You got if we have our own video game? Yeah, yeah. Video games? Ugh, those things will stunt your growth. They're terrible. Yeah, yeah. You got the other two things. Here's the last. We do have a recording contract. In Bottom Records. Take a look. You will have us on your show now, yes? Oh, I suppose so. If only because I have an upcoming bossy tirade prepared about the proliferation of talentless no-name recording artists. Yay! Naturally, I will expect you to be on your best behavior and agree with everything I say and answer every question I have and don't interrupt and keep your elbows off the table and use your indoor voice. What about... While you're on my show, you stay in your seats at all times. You do not interrupt me when I'm talking and you treat the audience with the utmost respect, even if you become less sure with each passing year that they deserve it. Now, I'll call you on stage in a minute. Gosh, Max. Celebrity is just a never-ending set of arbitrary goals one accomplishes to appease a dismissive and distracted, if not entirely absent, authority figure. I don't know if I agree, Sam, but I've begun my decadent slide into a depraved personal hell just in case. <laughs> Give her a hand, everyone! Like Bessie Bovine reading from her new book, The Heart Has Four Stomachs, Ruminations on a Life in Hollywood, out now in all major bookstores. This microphone is starting to spark from overuse. But that doesn't mean we're ready to pack it in. We've got the stars of the not-quite-canceled sitcom Midtown Cowboys, who also happen to be the winner and judge of TV's Embarrassing Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and Matt. Hold a hayride, little pal. That bear seems more than slightly hinky, in the mesmeric sense of the term. Shadier than a fat man's ankles. Let's take it down like ducks in a gutter. That's Hold it. No My guests sit at that end. But that bear has got you. Sit. We'll just sit Ooh. where you want us to, ma'am. Lovely. What gives, Sam? Why can't we just grab the bear? It would appear that the laws of physics are different on the set of a talk show, little buddy. We're going to have to play along. Sam and Max, you talented, hot new celebrities who've taken the entertainment world by storm. So naturally, we all want to hear everything about your involvement in the scandal detailed in the Alien Love Triangle Times. About that picture in the Times, I'd rather talk about Midtown Cowboys. I'd rather re relive my embarrassing idol glory. I'd rather talk about that bear. Now we'll play along. There's something you should know about that picture in the Times. I'm not sure I want to know anything more. Maybe you big Hollywood types thinks it's funny to flaunt your polyplanetary pickups, but the rest of us find alien love triangles, frankly, disgusting. But the photo is not quite what it seems. How so? That's no alien, it's Hugh Bliss. That's not us. There was someone else involved. Ooh. It's not a picture of an alien at all. That's Hugh Bliss. Hugh Bliss? The highly respected founder of Prismatology? Don't be ridiculous. Why, I've had him on my show before, and he certainly isn't green. What are you really hiding? Yeah, never mind, I'll do- How much I'm scared of being buffeted by another gust of Hurricane Myra? Flattery will get you nowhere, mister. I don't know about you, audience, but as a girl, I was taught that flattery was the worst possible way to blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. 
Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 yak. May I have a drink of water? Are you the host of this talk show? No. Then, no. Blah, 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 Bitch. yak, 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 bloody, 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 I'm not touching yakety, that thing. Yakety, 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 I'd probably yakety, yakety, get shocked. Yakety, yak, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 yak, blah, blah. I'm wise in front of a live studio audience. Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 yak, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. I'd like to shave that skeevy blah, blah, little puppet blah, blah, ball, blah, blah, but it's too far yak, away. Yak, yak, I thought you could like. Also, I haven't got a razor. You don't have to shave it to like squirt this stuff at it. Oops. She appears to have plenty to say already. Blah 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 yak 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 Put that away right now Oh never mind Blah 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 yak 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 bloody 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 yakity 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 yak blah Humanity's not safe while that mysterious little hypno bear is on the loose Are we part of humanity Sam Not technically but we're in danger too Ah yes where were we I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. There's more you should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? It doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. Ooh. How shocking. Who? Philo Pennyworth, one of the soda poppers, Bessie the Cow. Bessie the cow or one of the soda poppers. I'm so... Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Bessie Bovine, our co-star on Midtown Cowboys. <gasps> they like oh that. Oh, my. Audience, shall we bring her back out again? Oh, hell yeah. Maybe this will help. Well, Bessie, what do you say to these allegations? <laughs> Is that so? Bessie, shockingly, you're the only voice of common sense in Hollywood. You are to be commended. Why don't you relax with some sweet grass backstage while I browbeat my audience into blah blah blah, yak yak yak. Blah 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 blah, yak yak yak. And I will do this one more time. <laughs> ah, I yes. use a soda pop Where were this we? time. I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty scandalous affair of yours. There's more. What's that? There are so Incredible. Who? One of the soda poppers. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my. Which one? Oh no. Ooh, which one? Cause I think they all left, right? So should we Um Hmm. Maybe Wizard? Wizard! Well, that's certainly an interesting accusation. We happen to have Wizard waiting backstage! Let's bring him out! I have no f what they f All that happened was they gave me a ketchup cake! Oh my f I have no idea what that even means. <laughs> and it may be the single filthiest thing anyone said in my presence! I might be able to top it if you give me a chance. I prefer that you didn't. In fact, our country's shocking fascination with the double entendre is wrecking blah blah blah, yak yak yak. Blah 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 blah, yak 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 yak, bloody 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 blah. All right, we'll move on from there, we'll move on from ah, there. Ah yes, where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty scandalous affair of yours. I'd rather talk about our smash hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. Okay, let's talk. You two have become the new breakout stars of a flaccid, dissolute sitcom in its final days. How wonderful for you. Thanks, we brought a clip. You certainly did. I had a chance to watch it, and I refused to show it to my audience. Ooh. It has a shocking joke involving a cow pie. 
It's a sad commentary on today's culture when the cow pie, once a staple of the American diet, blah, 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 Dude. blah, yak, 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 yak. I see why Myra only lets big stars on her show. They're easier targets? If you're big enough, there still might be something left when she's finished. Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 yak. I wonder what happens when I do this. Testing. One, two, three. I'm not touching that thing. I'd probably get shocked. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. I'd like to sing, if I may. Is that wise? Howling at that drippy old hunk of moon. Whoa! Careful there, Tiger. Oh, wow. That was wonderful. I'm so moved I almost oh, okay. don't have a long hectoring screed in me. Oh, no, wait. There it is. Thank goodness. Self-referential songwriting is a dangerously blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. So that blah, microphone, blah, yak, 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 you need to get that in the water. Didn't she move it? I don't remember. I guess, what, yeah, when someone sat in the, that chair, she, um, she moved the, oh, let me get my thing out of there. She moved the microphone over there before. So. <clears throat> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Um, yeah. There's more you should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? It doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Doesn't matter someone who I pick? Someone picture doesn't show. Ooh. You're joking! Who? Does it matter who I pick? I'm trying to think. She moves it over there no matter what, right? Bessie Bovine, our co-star on Midtown Cowboys. Oh my! Audience, shall we bring her back out again? At the risk there of making go. the obvious comment, that was shocking! Is she breathing? A little. But the creepy teddy bear is toast. Wow. Nuts! I wanted to ask it a few questions, and maybe use it to hypnotize Katie Couric. Another glorious dream bangs its chin on the dirty pavement. On the bright side, the audience is free to go home. That was it then? That was pretty oh, I was just getting warmed up. Do you think Myra will have us back on the show again soon? Um, speaking of unlikely, did you notice we just had two cases in a row involving hypnotic mind control? Complete yep. coincidence? Yes, I think so. The cogs of the universe synchronize in ways we're not meant to see. Speaking of things we're not meant to see, there's a new restaurant at the zoo where you can eat what they feed the animals. Empty popcorn cartons and cigarette butts. And processed bread logs loaded with tranquilizers and antidepressants. Bread logs make me logy. Let's head back to the cooking show set and see if we can figure out how to make fried the pork rinds. To Myra, okay, love the but toy I get mafia. The feet. So. Ooh. Oh, let me go away. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, do I need to go away? No, the credits are on that side. Okay, I'm not gonna block any credits. I'm gonna make myself a little bit bigger. I don't want to take up the credits. Okay. So, that's episode two of Sam and Mac Save the World. So, obviously, the next episode I'm imagining will learn more about the Toy Mafia, maybe? I don't know. So, that was funny. I think it had a lot more laughs than the first episode did. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm distracted. I'm looking at the, the credits. Actually, let me fix this.
Yeah, now it looks like I'm looking at the credits. Ooh, wow, look at that! <laughs> okay. So that was a good episode. That was funny. Like I said, it was funnier than the last one. Um, a lot more confusing, though. Uh, very confu- Oh, I'm blocking some. That's that snowflake thing I just blocked. Now I- Okay. That one was a lot more confusing. It took me way too long to figure out. And a lot of that was actually dumb luck like, to catch up. I was just going through all of those things just to see. And then I was going to go to the office and do the same thing. I just got lucky that I ended up getting the catch up. And it, there, some other stuff too. So that was just some some stuff's kind of hard to figure out. I was really, really surprised. You would think this game wouldn't be that hard but it is it can be it can be very hard to figure out but anyway i hope you had fun and had a few laughs like i did and i will see you guys for the next episode which is called okay let maybe i should block it the next one is called the mole the mob and the meatball so that's what it's called next time. So I actually can't wait to see what happens next. I want, and I guess in a sense, they're all connected somehow. Because they're like hypnotic. So I guess every episode's connected to the other somehow. So that'll be interesting to see that. In the meantime, you have a great day. See you next time.